Oh, hi. I am Pastor Heather. I'm the associate pastor here at Oakhurst Presbyterian, and I've been reading about the journey of the wise men. Uh, they took quite a travel, and people say they travel from different places. And I, I think it's important that we tell this story because everybody thinks Christmas is just that one day. But Christmas is a season of 12 days, as we remember the journey that the wise men or the kings or the wise people took. So let's take a minute and get into the heads of those kings in this famous Christmas story as we get prepared for next week and our Three Kings party. Look at this scroll. I've been looking at these stars for a long time, and something is different. I've been studying them, and something special is going to happen soon. I've been looking at these stars for years, but I, I don't understand. Where? What do you see in these charts? I think there's going to be a new king born. I think it's going to happen the same time as the star becomes the brightest. I, I think we should go visit him. If he has a new star, then he must be very, very special. Yes, we shall travel whatever distance it takes to go and see this new king and follow the star. And we must not go empty-handed. We must bring this baby king gifts of frankincense. I will share this gift that his family can sell to get the things they need for this precious child. I have some myrrh. It's really expensive, but anything for a new king. I have some gold back in my house. It seems like we've been walking forever. I have blisters that have blisters. How much longer? Wait and see. Every step we get closer to the new king. It will be worth it. Just wait and follow. Are you sure we're going the right way? Maybe we should ask for directions. Do not worry. I have put it into my GPS. Pretty good story, right? I encourage you this week, as you get ready for the Three Kings part of next week, to learn more about these three kings, three wise people. Their names were Gaspar, Melchor, and Balthazar. And learn about their travels in the Middle East as they followed the star and see how long it took. Was it days, weeks, months? And get a costume ready. You saw me dress up in these different ideas of what kings would have looked like. Maybe yours will have a crown. Maybe it won't. Maybe you'll have a sparkly jacket. Maybe you'll have a dress. Whatever makes you feel royal is the gear for next week's party. As we, per we proceed to be a part of the Three Kings Festival that they have in New York City and around the world in different communities as they celebrate this story of the kings bringing Jesus those three gifts of frankincense, gold, and myrrh. We'll see you next week.